Get up, get up, it's time to get up Yeah, maybe yesterday you didn't do the best decisions Yeah, maybe yesterday you did a couple mistakes But today is a new day, give it all you got Today is the best day to change your future Today is the best day How's it going everybody? Today we are continuing part 2 to the basement renovation series. Today we are covering the home gym. This is what it looked like before. This is the basement. We're gonna build out. We're gonna make, a, make it livable. We're gonna add a room, a bathroom. Put my drums, my mom's piano. And it's gonna come out beautiful. This is during the renovation. And this. So when I run on the treadmill, it actually shows you how much distance I run in a track. It also comes with Bluetooth so you can connect your phone. With these controls, you can set up your volume, the fan, the speed, and the incline. You could also do it on the left side of your treadmill. And on the right side, you could set your speed. Having 12 miles per hour be the top speed. Stop, kick it and let it drop. And then it slowly drops. See how it slowly is dropping? So then it just drops, and then when you want to just go ahead and run, you go ahead and run. When you finish your workout, you just lift it back up. You just lift it up. You don't do anything else, just lift it up. And then once you lift it up, it's going to click by itself. Boom, you see? Click. And then it just stays like that. And maybe you could even use the space to do some push-ups or things like that while this is up. So yeah, that's a, that's a plus. The bike that we have comes with a series of videos, but mostly I like going manual mode just so I can listen to my music. The bike also shows the distance that you go on a normal track. After every workout, it actually shows you your final results and everything you did during your workout. Just like the treadmill on the left side, you can set up your incline. And in the right side, you can set up your resistance. And if you want to come to a complete stop, press this button. So now the options that we have to work out our upper body. Whose mans is this? Now to my favorite machine of them all. I sat them right there. They actually held me so I don't die. So like there's nobody spotting me. I come over here, I grab the weights, I pick them up, and then if no one's here helping me, I can just drop them right here. You see that? So it's like, so like, so I don't choke. So I let them drop just so I can show you guys that like, you know, nothing happens. But we usually keep them on a lower level. You can also use this if you want to like lift weight like this. You can just kind of do something like that, different things. But I want to show you guys this. Maybe you guys, some of you guys guessed already, but you can actually put the bar here and you can do leg workouts. So I'm just gonna put it up here. So I can literally get the weight, the weight right. I can lift it up, move up a little bit forward, just do squats, do squats. So this helps us utilize this weight rack in two different ways, upper body and lower body for your legs. So this is actually pretty nice since we don't have a really big space to put a gym in. Things like this or machines like this are really good to help us utilize like multi-purpose or multi-functional sets like these. So that's pretty nice. So we can't forget about the TV that we have. In this TV, we could watch YouTube videos, we could put worship music, we could even put workout routines. This is our basement and it went from looking like this. And maybe you don't want to watch TV and watch your favorite YouTuber, Quintas Inc. You could put on Netflix and if not, you got HBO. 